Hey guys, I have come down south for a couple of weeks and I thought I would show you what I get up to. So I'm currently in Brighton. Shane's family lives in Brighton, so we are visiting them and Shane is meeting up with his friends. I've got a uni friend who lives in Brighton, so I'm going to be meeting up with her. Right now we are heading into town to meet with Shane's friends, grab a coffee and have a general wander around town. So I thought I'd show you that. I've also later on got a microdermabrasion session and and I thought I would take you along to that and just generally share some of my favourite brighter spots with you. I'm back now and as you would have seen I had a delicious falafel and hummus wrap for lunch from Lavash which I've walked past a number of times and always wanted to try because I love Lebanese food and Middle Eastern food in general and finally had the chance to try it today and it did not disappoint it was absolutely delicious and then I popped a few doors down to a Simply Urban and had my nails done they don't look very interesting because I got no paint They've just been feeling so weak and brittle recently, I think, because of all of the hand washing and all of the alcohol hand sanitizer. It's really been drying them out. So I just had my cuticles cleaned up and got a lovely exfoliating uh, treatment and a hand massage. And it was so lovely, such a lovely little pamper session. Had a general look around the shops because I am on the hunt for a sleeveless knit top, which I thought would just look so cute over shirts and also um, a shirt dress uh, with some chunky boots, that kind of look. Uh, very basic but I really am after one didn't find the perfect one today so the search continues and then I finally to round everything off had a microdermabrasion treatment in town um, at Little Jasmine which I've been to before and it was amazing I think my skin's looking a lot glowier and now I'm back before dinner I'm going to have my Biscoff slab which I got from Cloud9 and it is the absolute best dessert especially if you're a Biscoff lover it's incredible it's so sugary it's so Moorish and I can't get enough of it so I'm going to have that with a coffee so we've ordered from Burger Brothers tonight which I am told serve the best burgers in the world well at the very least in Brighton so we've got some fries we've got a very hot burger which is Shane's and then mine is with the added halloumi and they've already got brownie points from me because they've ser they've um sent us some gold bars and some lollipops which I think is so sweet and I've never seen that done before <laughs> So it's a few days later and I've spent the past few days sat at home, working from home and working my dissertation. So it's really not been all too exciting. But now we're heading into town and we're going to have a little look around and I thought I'd take you along with us. Guys, we've just passed the round hill and I've realised that I never commented on our meal the other day. We had dinner there at the start of the week and they have an entirely vegan food and drinks menu. And I would highly recommend, I had a Satan chicken curry 
and Shane and his mum had Satan burgers and I really enjoyed it, it was lovely. The only downfall is that we dined outside and it is right next to a busy road as you can hear. So in that sense it wasn't great but the inside decor is gorgeous. So if you are dining inside then I think it's a really lovely experience. finally settled on fur for lunch after running out on a Thai place uh, because we didn't like the menu. So we're going to get some fur and I'll show you what else we get. Got some summer rolls to start with peanut sauce and we've both gone for fur. I'm back now and I do apologize I'm at the exact same spot where I left off because wherever I am I seem to pick one specific spot with the best lighting and I just tend to stick to it so I do apologize if it gets a bit repetitive and also my eyes keep watering and in fact I'll get it out of my bag but whenever I'm in town and I can't get somewhere to wash my hands and reapply my SPF I always use this Soleil Toujours SPF um, to apply, reapply my SPF every two hours. And this one really, really, it really irritates my eyes. God, I got um, stumbled on my words there. It really irritates my eyes. So I do need to find a better solution, but for the time being, it's great. So as you would have seen, we had a wander around town. We stopped by fur to grab some food. We both had fur and we also had rice paper rolls with incredible peanut sauce. Um, so that was a really delicious. We then grabbed a coffee at a little shop, uh, coffee shop that we've been to a few times before. Um, and it's just off one of the main shopping streets and it was lovely and of course i had to grab a biscoff slab from cloud nine which rounds off every single trip into town for me i love those slabs and we can't get it up in york so it was the perfect opportunity to grab one so i'm going to enjoy that with a cup of coffee now but before i go i thought i would finish off this vlog by inserting some footage that i took in brighton about a year and a half ago and it never made it into a vlog so i thought i'd insert it here and i hope you've enjoyed Hey guys, so um, <clears throat> I've got a sore throat. <laughs> right, take two. Hey guys, I am in Brighton now. I've spent the past um, few weeks in Peterborough for work and now I have reunited with Shane <laughs> and we've both got a couple weeks before we both start our masters in York. So we are going to have a few fun filled days in Brighton. <laughs> it's a real effort to talk because I've got a really sore throat. I'm getting power throat. I'll show you what we get up to now. So we're going to head into town. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>
game update <laughs> to pretty much say how crap I have been with filming everything. Uh, but today we went into town. I got my first ever boost juice, which is probably not that exciting to <laughs> majority um, of people. Like my arm really hurts. Um, yeah, it was nice, but it was uh, a bit luckluster in flavour. I had a, a look around the shops, which was really lovely, wasn't it? Yeah. Had a little look around, and yes, tomorrow is a really exciting day. I'm really, really excited because, as you would have seen, we went to the i360. We were trying to make a real effort to do more touristy stuff um, in Brighton. <laughs> Along with those tickets, uh, we purchased sea life center ticket i am super excited to go there tomorrow and i've lost my train of thought <laughs> yes oh we've just ordered takeout which we're gonna have with american horror story smoke so that's grill smoke grill brighton <laughs> and stuff like that now we are off out into town and we're gonna have a look around the shops it's pretty late it's a sunday and we wake up pretty late so i think shops are gonna be closing soon and um, we're gonna grab some food and just show you around a little so hopefully that's a bit more exciting than what we've been up to these past few days which was just merely on our laptops or watching tv in bed <laughs> Much needed though after kind of a busy few days.
we are back now. We went into Brighton, well, we went into town and um, we had a look around the shops. It was so lovely. Everything was looking so festive, so Christmassy and I can't be wait to be back. Closer to Christmas, we went into a coffee, well, we grabbed a coffee. Yes, so we grabbed a fur um, at fur. Um, and then I... I didn't have a fur. How dare you? What did you have? Do you remember? I don't remember what the Vietnamese name was, but I got some vermin cheddar wow. noodles with beef. You have to remember the proper Vietnamese name if you want it to be mentioned. But I just mentioned it. So <laughs> went. And then I suggested that we grab some donuts and luckily Dum Dum Donuts were open. So we both grabbed one. Um, and I'm gonna have mine now. Shane scoffed his as soon as we got inside because we got an Uber back. Um, and he scoffed what? it. Yes. I made myself a cup of tea and had it. Um, but I had resisted, and I'm gonna watch um, something on YouTube and eat mine with a cup of lovely tea made by Shane. <laughs> and sadly, well. I'm leaving for York tomorrow, tomorrow Ooh. morning. Look at this. Yum, yum. 